Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to disable old or weak versions of SSL and TLS on Windows Server 2008. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. In Windows Server 2008, by default SSL 2.0 is disabled for the client. However, SSL 2.0 is enabled for server. The protocol SSL 3.0 is enabled for both client and server. If we talk about the TLS, it is enabled for all the TLS versions whether it is client or server. Important notes TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 might be depreciated, but it's still widely used, disabling them may cause you problems. So, we highly recommend you to check the compatibility of your website or application before disabling it. Before disabling any version of the SSL and TLS, make sure that you have enabled TLS 1.2 on your server. In this video tutorial, we will guide you on how to disable SSL 2.0, SSL 3.0, TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 on Windows Server 2008. To disable old protocols such as SSL 2.0, SSL 3.0, TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 for client or server, you need to change the D word value to zero. If an SSPI security support provider interface app requests to use old protocol, it will be denied. To disable old protocols by default, create a disabled by default entry and change the D word value to 1. If an SSPI app explicitly requests to use an old protocol, it may be negotiated. Let's see in the practical way. Here, we have used Windows Server 2008 R2 as an example to show you how to disable old or weak versions of SSL and TLS on your server. Go to the taskbar located at the bottom of the screen. After then click on the Windows Start button. Go to the search box. And type run on it. Once you type on it. You will get the run application above. Click on it to open it. By clicking on it, a run dialog box will be open. In the open field, type reg edit. After then click on the OK button. Once you click on the OK button, you will get the Registry Editor window. Click on the H key local machine. After then click on the system. After then click on the current control set. After then click on the control. Scroll down the screen. Select the folder security provider and click on it. After then click on the S channel. After then click on the protocols. Here you can see the protocols which are enabled on your local system. Since you know that SSL 2.0 for client is already disabled by Microsoft in the Windows Server 2008, we will see how to disable SSL 2.0 for the server. Let's maximize the registry window so you can easily see it.
to disable SSL 2.0 for server, right-click on the SSL 2.0 key and select New Option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name Server. Type Server and press Enter. Again right click on the Server key and select New Option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default. and press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default and select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section and select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the server key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Now, we will disable SSL 3.0 on Windows Server 2008. Right click on the Protocols folder and select New Option. After then click on the Key option. By clicking on it, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name SSL 3.0. Type SSL 3.0 and press Enter. Right click on the SSL 3.0 key and select New Option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name Client. Type client and press enter. Again right click on the client key and select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default and press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default and select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section and select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. 
Again right click on the client key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the SSL 3.0 key and select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name server. Type server and press enter. Again right click on the server key and select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default. And press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default. And select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section. And select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field. And enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the server key. And select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Now, we will disable TLS 1.0 on Windows Server 2008. In order to disable TLS 1.0, right-click on the Protocols folder and select New Option. After then click on the Key option. By clicking on it, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name TLS 1.0. Type TLS 1.0. And press enter. Right click on the TLS 1.0 key. And select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name client. Type client and press enter. Again right click on the client key and select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. 
once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default. And press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default. And select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section. And select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field. And enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the client key. And select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled. And press enter. Right click on the name enabled. And select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero. And the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Again, right click on the TLS 1.0 key. And select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name server. Type server. And press enter. Again right click on the server key. And select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default. And press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default and select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section and select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the server key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Now, we will disable TLS 1.1 on Windows Server 2008. In order to disable TLS 1.1, right click on the protocols folder and select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on it, one new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name TLS 1.1.
type TLS 1.1 and press enter. Right click on the TLS 1.1 key and select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name client. Type client and press enter. Again right click on the client key and select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default and press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default and select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section and select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the client key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Again, right click on the TLS 1.1 key and select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name server. Type server and press enter. Again right click on the server key and select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default and press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default and select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section and select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the server key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. 
right-click on the name enabled, and select Modify from the drop-down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero, and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Also, make sure that you have enabled TLS 1.2 on your Windows Server 2008. Once you're done, close the Registry Editor window. and reboot the machine to make changes effective. After reboot, the old or weak version of the SSL and TLS will be disabled. If you want to check it whether it is disabled or not, you can check it by entering your domain name or website name in the following URL. Please note that the domain name or website name should be pointed to your server on which you have disabled the old protocol. Here, we have entered our demo website demovpstest.com which is hosted on the same server where we have disabled the old protocol recently in the video. You can see a detailed report that shows you the health of your server. In the configuration section you can find the supported protocols of your server which are active and disabled. You can see that SSL2, SSL3, TLS1.0, and TLS1.1 are disabled. The protocol TLS 1.2 is enabled for our server. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to disable old or weak versions of SSL and TLS on Windows Server 2008. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.